When I swing it, it's like slicing through soft butter. My name is Jim Miller. I'm a golf expert with Creative Golf. I've helped over 2,600 golfers with their golf game in, in terms of selection of golf clubs. Today I'm here to talk to you about one of my favorite clubs, the TaylorMade P790, which I just absolutely love. Just so you know, I'm not sponsored by any brand and these reviews are completely unbiased. One of the things I like about what TaylorMade has done is inside the club, the cavity of itself, is they've got foam, so it softens the sound, but it doesn't affect the launch or the flight pattern or anything, but it's got a soft sound to it. They've also got this insert back here, uh, which they use to help the face of the club drive through, through the golf ball. So when I hit this club, you get instant feedback, although it's a soft feedback. And, and when you swing it, it feels like the, the entire club is just connected from you know, the tip of the club all the way down to, to the face of the club. This particular shaft works for me. It's the Dynamic Gold 105S300. It's a steel shaft that works really, really well with the, with the P790. Now, this is a player's club. So this is not gonna be a club for a higher handicapper. You need to have a, a very solid golf swing, this particular club. So this is gonna to appeal to players who are a scratch player up to about an eight handicapper. You start stretching the limits when you get above eight and you're trying to swing this particular golf club. It's gonna have a little bit of a high launch to it, which I like in, in my golf swing. And, uh, and that's the fact that they've moved the center of gravity a little bit further front. They've got this beveled back. And, uh, and so by having the center of gravity back here, it's gonna have a little bit of a higher launch. So if you like a high ball flight, this club works. If you like a lower ball flight, this may not be the club for you. The grip size for me is a little bit slim. I like more of a mid-size grip, but TaylorMade's done an exceptionally good job with this P790. I have here the TaylorMade P790 iron, and my initial impressions of this club are it is fantastic. Let me tell you, this thing's a beauty. There's a lot going on in here, technologically speaking, and what I saw it doing to the ball when I swung was impressive. First impressions of this club, very nice. It's a player's distance. Definitely gave me distance, but it was forgiving. It felt soft. They've got the air foam, air speed foam inside, and then they've got the speed slot to help kind of absorb some of the feeling. It's got the polished chrome and the brushed chrome. Makes it look a little more luxurious. Very impressed with this. Aesthetically speaking, I like that it's got the brushed matte finish on the steel. It does have some polished chrome, and that's more like a touch uh, of class. It's not necessarily something that's gonna bother you if you don't like reflections because the face on the heel and the toe are brushed, kind of that satin finish, so they don't reflect light as much. So I think it's a very classy looking club. So TaylorMade has gotten a new formula for the foam that they put inside, and they are claiming that you are gonna get increased ball speeds, which means increased distance with better feel. This is a hollow body club that has components inside it, such as the foam that they call the air foam, as well as tungsten weighting. And those things help the face flex, but they also, in the tungsten weighting inside, help lower that center of gravity, which helps promote a high launch, but it also helps promote a resistance to twisting, so it's a more stable and more forgiving head. This club also has the speed slot, which helps the face, when you hit it on the lower side of the club, still give you high ball speeds and forgiveness. So while it's in a compact shape, this is a player's distance iron, you are getting distance gains and forgiveness. So there's a lot of game improvement technology in what appears to be a player's distance compact head that most highly skilled golfers like to look at. It's a full face club, and so the sweet spot on this particular club is fairly large. And then because they've got this foam insert inside of it, the ability for this club to correct itself, and for you as a golfer to correct yourself, your miss hits aren't gonna be as bad. The sound is a little bit on the soft side because again of that foam insert that they have in here. What TaylorMade does is they insert the foam, build the club around that particular piece of foam, and that just that softens the sound and that that's appealing to the, those golfers who like that if you like more of a crisp sound you're not going to get this from the p790s 
but what you're going to get is a performance level club for those who are eight handicappers and below. You would not use this club if, if you're a, a mid handicapper, you're a, a 12 to 20. Now, this club is gonna be too much of a club for you. You're probably gonna want to look more towards a, a pure cavity back. That's not this particular club. In terms of a, a forge type club, this is a very forgiving club. Based on my testing, I don't find there are any negatives about this club. It's not for someone who needs super game improvement capabilities because it's not that. This is for a mid to low handicapper, someone who takes their game seriously, someone who wants to be able to hit greens and hold them even from far away. It gives you high launch angles, pretty steep descents, and distance improvement. This is not a club that is for a beginner, however. The sole's a little thin, the top line's a little thin, and a beginner may want something thicker and a little bit more confidence inspiring. If you'd like to talk to me about getting into this club or other options, go ahead and check out my profile at curated.com or click the link below in the description. And if you like this video and want more content, please hit subscribe.